if people weren't as fat, then it would save the NHS a lot of money. Is that true? Well, of course it would. And, and, and what you've been talking about is what I call vanity surgery. I mean, I would love my eyelids done because I'm getting on a little bit. But to, ex you know, and it affects my mental health. But to expect the taxpayer to pay for that is absolutely ludicrous. It's vanity surgery. Listen to some of the costs here, right? Average lipo suction is around seven grand. And then you've got the average tummy tuck of £4,000. Why should the taxpayer be paying that? And you're absolutely right. You know, we expect these things because we've become greedy. And that's one of the reasons that we're too fat is because we've become greedy. We're gluttonous and we need a kick up the backside that actually says, come on, start taking responsibility and get on with it. Sort yourself out rather than expecting everybody else to do it for us. Look, yes, just before... support people, not a problem, yeah. but do not expect, especially in this climate, right, for other people to be paying for a vanity procedure called a tummy tuck or lipo. Yes, indeed. Um, now, just before I start getting the flurry of emails in, as I usually do when I talk about stuff like this, gvviews at gvnews.uk, yes, I am aware that I'm not the skinniest person in the world. However, as of three months ago, I was two stone heavier than this. So, what are you doing with your lives, people, hey? Right, no, OK, right. But, Steve, um, do we need to stop saying that fat is beautiful? Now, I am not saying that personally, but you do look now... the the, the what would you say? Oh, the come on, XXXL listen, I... model side of things. Is that bad for public health? Listen, I, coming back to you, I, I think I think I did say to you, you're too gorgeous to be fat. Uh, and I think that's what did it. You, you had a realisation. Yes, obesity is a choice. And people don't like me saying that very much. And actually, mm -hmm. you know, if you're fat, there is always something you can do about it. The problem we have now is we have this culture of victimhood we, where we think everyone else should should do it for us and we've normalized obesity it's now kind of cool to go on the the fat walk rather than the cat walk as i say and and we really need to move on from that because mm. we're now heading into dangerous times we've got the nhs that frankly isn't fit for purpose now we've got nurses going on strike people's health is in jeopardy and the serious message here is 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 be warned because obesity kills it triggers cancer it triggers heart disease it triggers type 2 diabetes we're in a we're in for a serious serious wake-up call i i can see that coming well, so the answer is to the nation listen to the nation realize you're too gorgeous to be fat realize you've got to take responsibility get on with it stop moaning about fat shaming if you're mm -hmm. fat you're on death row